Oh, I mean, he's... Ouch, sorry. My fingers are cold. Captain Jack Scrapper here. Uh, this is part three of Sparta's Nature Trail. Uh, part two, we didn't find anything super unusual. Possibly a couple of uh, bent branches from Bigfoot, but other than that, the uh, flowers, some people call them weeds, I still call them flowers. It's all of God's creation, in my opinion, and they're pretty. However, these aren't as pretty as they were, as it's obvious that they have been touched by the frost. Their blossoms have uh, folded over and their time is over for this year. All right, we're back at the fork. This is where we went in part two. We took that fork and we found the park bench back there and the little bridge that led to nowhere. Imagine that, a bridge to nowhere. Don't they have one of those up in Alaska? I've heard about it. You tell me. All right, we're gonna take this other path and see where it leads us. I'll try not to get uh, too stumbly. So this one seems a little rougher for some reason. Pretty little daisies, but they got touched by frost too. If I stand still, the crickets start chirping. But when they hear me coming, they stop. I think that tree might be a goner. We're basically in the Rogue River floodplain. This doesn't always get flooded in the spring, but it can get very wet. The ground is soft right now, even just from the couple days of rain that we've had. And I'd have to say, for the most part, the brush through here is actually quite lush. Now whoever has been taking care of this trail obviously doesn't have a pair of nippers, so I had to kind of brush through here. <laughs> Okay, we're back to what I call a marsh. You might call it a meadow. I still am curious where it comes out at. Or does it come out? <laughs> Will I have to call 911 if I have a signal? Find me! I'm on the Sparta Nature Trail. Wow, does it actually, it, it continues to skirt this, uh, this little field, prairie, marsh. <laughs> Whatever, whatever you'd like to call it, mateys. <sighs> hmm. I hope I didn't get myself into something like Tina did. Now well, that's kind of interesting. That's not a path. But the grass is mashed down. 
I'll bet you a dime to a donut. Hey, we might get lucky and see a deer. But when you see the grass area mashed down like that, deer. They've taken naps in there. And now my doggone phone is going off. Oh. Hang on, ladies. Yes, Holly. I'm on the nature trail in Sparta. I'm filming. I'll be filming. I'll be home in half an hour. Yes, yes, I did. All right. What radio? Holly, I turned it off this morning at 7 a.m. All right. Sorry about the interruption. Oh. Sometimes her medications just drive me crazy. Your radio's out in your room. Yeah, right. How can you hear it over the TV in the living room? And my radio is not on in my room. As said, I turned it off at 7 a.m. this morning. It's now 5 o'clock. Some of those painkillers that she takes and those pain injections she'll be rather loony for a few days sometimes she gets paranoid you know I don't know another spot where looks to me like a deer has laid down or possibly a place where Bigfoot took a nap Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, we're heading east at the moment, but it looks like we're going to turn to the south. Well, not too far south. Southeast. And once again, the crickets quieted down. I can hear some in the distance. Hmm. That appears to be a little bit of a trail. Yeah. Maybe. One would think that if the deer wanted to run, they just follow the path that the groundskeeper left. <laughs> no, deer have their own paths that they prefer to follow. They probably know of better shortcuts than you and I. I hear some crows off in the distance. Gosh! We continue to travel to the east. Farther than I thought we would be. If we reach 10 minutes here, part three will probably end. YouTube says the recommended time. I'll tell you what, this is some rough walking. All right. Oh. We're at 9.36 here. Captain Jack's gonna take a little wee break here. Little and wee, that's a double innuendo. <laughs> we'll end part three right here. Fair winds, smiles, and may God bless. I'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs>